Hello guys, Rohis again from Rohis Tech channel. So today I'm talking about the IBM Cloud device communication with Node-RED application using MQTT protocol. So what's IBM Cloud? With IBM Cloud, organizations can deploy and access visualized IT resources such as uh, compute power, storage, and networking over the internet. This is Node-RED uh, flow page. It's a Node-RED editor, and it's a flow-based uh, development tool for visual programming. It developed originally by IBM for wiring together hardware devices, APIs, and online services as part of the IoT Internet of Things. I show you also the MQTT because we are gonna use it, and. Uh, MQTT stands for Message Queuing Telemetry Down Support. It's a lightweight messaging protocol developed by IBM. It uses PAP sub pattern and translate message between device servers and applications. PAP and SAP stands for Publisher and Subscriber. So publisher send a message to a topic and subscriber receives it from a topic. So now all the tools are explained. Next step is to create an IBM account. I keep the video short so you can do it by yourself using the IBM.com website. Okay, once you have created your IBM account, then open the catalog page and search for Internet of Things platform. You need to choose a plan here and then also search for node application and install it. After the installation, you can find the applications and services in the resource list. Open your resource list, then you can see your installed services and applications in here. As you see in here, I have my services and also the applications that I have already installed. Here's the alarm, the node application. You need to also enable the continuous delivery feature. You have created the app but not deployed it anywhere to run. So you need to deploy your application into the IBM Cloud. So open your application and I'll show you how you can enable the continuous delivery feature. Once you open it, Maybe you, have, you will have a different button here to deploy it. Mine is already it's set up and it's showed the success status. And in there you have also the app URL and source. As you see there's the success, you should get, get a success status. And then there's also the app URL, which is your editor link and the source. We need also the source, we need to modify it. I will go through it a bit later. Okay, let's open uh, the applications editor. And here's our Node-RED editor. I have my own flow, so you create a new flow and then add those nodes. There also you need to change the password or set a new password if you wish so. I think the default password is like admin admin. Username is admin, the password is all, all, also admin. Okay, let's step back and connect the, our device with MQTT box. You need to install the MQTT uh, to your computer based on your operating system and set the protocol to MQTT TCP. You set the username, password, the client ID, the host, as, as you see in the setting right now. After that, save the configuration and you should get the connected, the green button there. It means the device is connected, so everything is okay. And you see the topic to publish, this is our topic, the event, and the CMD means the command line. So I publish a event um, data, but I receive a command line data back. Okay, let's go back to the editor page. You can do the same, like you add the nodes as you see in my flow. And then uh, maybe you don't have the IBM IoT in and out, the nodes. And I'll show you how you can add them. 
So you open your uh, node application uh, source and then you search for package.json and edit this file. You add these two lines there and then save it. Once you save it, maybe the node editor asks you to log in again. After you log in, then you can get those two nodes. So now I open my each nodes configuration, then you can pause the video if you wanna check them, but I will go draw them a bit faster. That one was my function and the delay. Okay, you can pause the video if you need so. And here also I uh, connect the device using the API key. So you need for that API key and token. Okay, now it's time to see how does it work. Open your MQTT box and you see I publish the JSON data and I get it there. So I get also the reply. There's the data. Thank you for watching the video. Please remember to subscribe, like and comment.